Hello again and welcome back to my Stream Deck profile customization series. I have received quite many requests for different topics and I really try to cover everything what you are requesting with my topics and what I'm going through and hopefully I'm able to catch all of those but if I'm missing something please let me know and send me a message. But let's jump in the plane and get going. And this time we are in a little bit smaller aircraft, Cessna 152. And today I'm working with two buttons and those are display gauge and display gauge dual. So only two buttons today, but hopefully that is useful for you as well. Let me change the view a little bit lower. And first I will take this display gauge button here and today's example I'm using I'm using engine RPM as a value so basically what these buttons are you can visually show some value what you like to have and it's easier to read from these visual indicators than just the numeric value and of course the same visual customization which I covered in previous episode please check that out if you haven't looked yet so those apply here but first if we start from the value tab so here you need to tell to the plugging and to the button which value you want to track in this this gauge and let's use a variable and well actually I have copied that already so it's this general engine RPM from engine number one and the format or the variable type is RPM. So if we put it there, we get some random numbers, random numbers running in the button already. And if I'm increasing the throttle, we can see that the value is also increasing and that is actually showing the rpm value so now we are a little bit we are a little bit under 2500 rpms but let's not kill the engine yet we can do that later maybe but this is where you set the variable and the value you want to use in this gauge and then as covered last time as well there is this color if you would like to somehow scale the scale the value but we don't need to touch that. And then minimum and maximum. This is important for the uh, meter to show correctly. So we can have zero here because RPM can be zero if the engine is shut down completely. And maximum, I would say that with this plane, let's put 3000. Even the analog meter goes to 35 hundred but let's use 3000 here and if you noticed right away the arrow jumped there and this is basically the setup for the value and then next we can go to the gauge itself and here the first setting is this draw arc and what does it mean that you can select the type of the gauge so if I select this, you, we can see that it's a different type of visual guidance. So depending what you are building and what is your preference, you can choose the type of the gauge. But because we are doing the RPM meter, let's use this arc type. And then the size is obvious that first you tell how wide is the arc. Let's put 50, it's almost the same. And then the second one is width. And we can make it a little bit wider so it's more easy to read. And then the base gauge color is green. And we can keep it there. And then you have possibility if you, for example, want to change the color based on your own controls. Or if there's some value which you want to read you could put the value here. So same way, put the address, variable address here, variable 
what you want to read and then the value and then the color will be changing. But we are not setting that today. Then start angle and sweep angle are the next one. So basically you are telling where the arc is drawing. So we could maybe put 100 here so it begins a little bit lower. And sweep angle, let's make it a little bit longer as well. So let's put 220 maybe. So it is going to the same position. And then if you want to adjust a little bit, you can do it with offset. Next one is indicator. So this is the small arrow there. So if you want to change the color, you can do it here. But let's keep it white because it's, it is actually easier to read. And then let's make it a little bit bigger as well. 15. Oh, OK, it's a little bit, little bit bigger than I expected. If you want to flip the indicator in the other side, left or right side. And let's keep it here because we are kind of simulating the RPM meter. Uh, center line, if you want to use that. And then the last one is warning range. And this is something we want to build today. So basically you can have three different sections. Uh, if you want to have symmetric range or not, and we don't want to have it and critical color, we could say that this is red and the range is, let's say it goes from, I think it's 2700 if I read the meter correctly and then it goes to 3000, sorry. And warning color, we could put that. We are not now building that meter exactly how it is in the plane, but let's use this color. And this is from 2001, sorry, 2100, and that goes to 3000. And now we have, actually, let's make that a little bit bigger. No, we don't need to make that bigger. That was just my mistake. So this needs to go from 2700. Okay, now we have set that correctly. So now we built this kind of range with colors, which is really helpful to reading the meter as well. And now we basically have the gauge set up. So if I increase the RPMs, the engine RPMs, it will go higher and also if I shut down the throttle the engine and the gauge will decrease and now if we, if we want to address this running numbers here it is done from the text so the first step is if you want to see this at all so from the show text option you can hide it completely which might be useful for some use cases but if we want to have it here, then we just need to make it a little bit easier to read. And that was also covered last time. So check last episode if you want to see more details. But we could put just here that um, four and we want to see it with zero digits. So like that. Or actually we can put that zero as well because then it's showing the number as it is. And we don't want to touch mappings. And range colors, let's keep that because that means that when the value is increasing and it goes to the yellow, for example, then the number will also change the color. And if I remove this, then the number will stay in the same color all the time. And in Henry font, that is taken from the title, but you can check that also from previous episode. And let's not kill the engine again. And then the button can also control something if you want to set this up. We are not doing today because we are just focusing visual things. But you can check this also from previous episodes. Guard and background I have also covered previously. Then we have this another display gauge dual. And this is pretty much the same as this previous button what we just built. 
but instead of one value you can have two different values which you are tracking here so if we are for example using the same same variable here and then if we want to build for example just for this example we are tracking the throttle position so if I now push the stick forward oh maybe the ah okay now it's working I just need to leave the text field so now if I push the throttle onwards we can see that the upper upper arrow is moving and then I take it down it's moving back but here you can see some limitation of this of this dual cage because you can only use the same scalar and the scale and the whole minimum and maximum values so they are sharing the same gauge and because you can see from the values when I push the stick so this is actually percents so it goes up to 100 and we know that the RPM goes down to zero and from upper part it goes up to 3000 so they are not matching so we would either need to change this format and this gauge range so now we would see the lower part working as intended but then we lose the functionality for the throttle so this is the limitation of this button so you can map for whatever you want but just be aware that they should be somehow in similar range and they should be sharing the same number number range so they can be shown correctly otherwise this is pretty much the same so you set the variables for the value then you have options to customize the gauge itself it is pretty much the same here and then the text text you can set how you want to read the values for example if we want to see zero zero decimals that would make the text more cleaner but unfortunately this is not the best best for this type of variables which are not in the similar range but i would say that this is pretty much all i want to share from these display gauge buttons and this is a little bit shorter episode but hopefully this was also really useful for you and you can utilize this on your own setup and i'll be covering more topics and more these buttons next time and actually next time it will be a little bit more special episode because i'm working with these knobs which are visible here so that episode is only for stream deck plus so to say but hopefully we will see you next time and have a smooth flights